Hey, welcome to Susan Dishes It Out. Please like, follow, and comment. Yeah, I'm wearing green today because, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day, right? Or if you're not into St. Patrick's, think of it as the celebration of spring. That everything's busting out all over and it's gorgeous. It's Everything's blooming. So what am I making today? Green beer? No, 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 no. We're making something I've associated as traditional Irish potatoes. Potatoes. Now, I'm making potato salad. It's not a traditional Irish recipe, but it's potatoes. You know, did you know the Irish brought potatoes to this country when they came over? They were introduced in Europe in the 1500s. They were cultivated in around 8,000 years ago in the Andes. Now, and the Andes have about, I don't know, four or 5,000 varieties of potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes. So I use, I never peel my potatoes. I always buy organic, so, but you know, you want to scrub them. And I have a bunch of stuff I'm going to add. Um, I'm going to, I have a little bit of leftover mustard. And what you do when you have, when you have um, just a little bit of something like this, mustard or mayonnaise in a jar, you can put your, you know, put your ingredients in and just kind of stir them around to get the last of the mustard out. So use it all up. And I don't know where I got that. Maybe my mother. Um, okay, so I'm going to add olive oil and a little bit of mayonnaise. And this is really pretty healthy mayonnaise. It's with avocado oil and eggs and mustard and not much else, a little vinegar. And you can always add more. I'm going to just try this. You can always add more. You can't take the oil out. So, um, yeah. So, uh, and then I'm going to add some scallions. And we never had onions growing up. Uh, my parents always said, well, onions and garlic don't like me. We like garlic and onions, but they don't like us. <laughs> so I never had onions until I was in college. I, I never knew onions really had an opinion or a feeling about it. I don't know. Do you like me scallions? Yes, we like you, Susan. Oh, there you go. I can eat them. <laughs> and, okay, this is, I had this recipe years ago, and it was just, I, I couldn't believe how good it was. So, yeah, I think maybe just a little bit more mayonnaise or, or olive oil, but you can always add it. So, there's a lot of things you could add to this now. I've got some tarragon here, and I've got some um, dry mustard, which is good also. And I'll let you know later if it needs a little bit tamari, a little bit of salt, some salt. And what I did was I, you can buy them roasted, but I roasted some sesame and sunflower seeds. And I'm going to, and salted them just a little bit. I'm going to mix those in. It's going to be so good. But first, actually, I think I'll, well, no, that's good. I'll do it like that. So, yeah, and you can put all kinds of nuts or seeds. You can use pistachios. I think I put a few cashews in there, too. Really good. And uh, what have we got here? So... That and I'm going to just put the fresh parsley is always nice. If there are things you don't like, don't add them. And if there are things you want to add that I haven't added, feel free. You can add various vegetables to this if you like. Some chopped up parsley, whatever you like, whatever you like. And this is really pretty proteiny, <laughs> that's the word, um, because I'm adding sprouts. The nuts and seeds give it protein, and sprouts, alfalfa sprouts. And that just Oops, gives it a little flavor. So I think as some recipes call for apple cider vinegar. I'll try this and then I'll I'll tell you if it needs a little more vinegar or mustard. So what else was I gonna tell you? Yeah, there was a potato famine in like 1845, 1850 in Ireland, and some people lived on potato nothing but potatoes for four years. So I guess you can do it if you have to. And, you know, if you end up on Mars, stuck on Mars, you know, you can always, <laughs> like Matt Damon did, grow potatoes and, and eat them. And, you know, well, you know how he did it. <laughs> I won't go into that. Oh, and another thing I wanted to add is peas. I love, I love, nothing says spring to me like English peas, fresh English peas. So I'm going to, I made a bunch of peas and I'm going to put these in too for more protein. So you got all kinds of protein in this. It's nice to serve this over a um, bed of spinach or whatever your favorite green is. And you can add olives. You can add a few chopped up carrots, that kind of thing. And what else is I going to tell you? Um, I've got my recipe over here. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the... Uh, when I was in Peru, we had a lot of potatoes. I'll show you one place where we ate that just had a number of potatoes. And they 
It was so nice. They'd cook them on the ground, just throw them on the fire. Oh, they were so good with that. So that's about it. And um, let's see how this is going to taste. Don't have to wait to see. And it's going to be good now, but after the flavors melt tomorrow, it'll be even better. You know, we're getting into spring and summer. You're going to want to take those potato salads to, to picnics and cookouts. And, you know, potato salad is good all year. But, mm, that's good. Mm, mm. And people say, um, be careful of the mayonnaise. I read somewhere that it's, it's really the onions that you have to watch out for leaving them out too long. Isn't that interesting? So I think that's it for Susan Dishes It Out. Happy St. Patrick's. Happy spring. Excuse me for eating. I gotta eat more. Bye. Thanks for joining. See you next time.